Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Special video today. As you can see behind me, I'm at the Schoenbrook Hotel in Schoenbrook in Northamptonshire, just getting ready to leave the hotel and head off to Santa Pod for an exciting video. More on that later though. Well, here we are back at Santa Pod again. As you can hear, it's really noisy in the background. All sorts of stuff going on today. But one of the main things that's going on is some drag racing later on, which hopefully I'm going to be taking part in if the weather holds the way it seems to be going to do according to the weather forecast. Anyway, I'm a critical around the park, see what's here, and then uh, hopefully by then we'll be able to get down and have some fun on the track in one of the cars. Let's see some of the entertainment that's happening here today. Right, here we go. What we need now is Monster truck rides for the kids. Hopefully, you can hear me over the top of the engine noise in the background. But there's little monster trucks for your little ones to have some fun in, as well as the monster trucks for the little ones. There's also, there's also a full size monster truck for big kids. So that was the monster truck. Pay your money, get in the back, go for a ride around the little bit of track they've got there. Apparently, I wasn't allowed to be in and actually drive it. So, a little bit gutted about that, but probably safer not to let me drive it. So just... well, as you can see, it's a hive of entertainment here. Everything going on, people getting their cars ready for when the track's dried out. i get the cars down, start racing with them. Hopefully the light's not affecting the camera too badly. really is some wonderful cars here today though so we're hoping to see lots of action on the track
So today folks, Santa Pod, Flame and Thunder event. One of the main reasons we're here is uh, back, well a good couple of years ago now, I did, and there was an auction on to raise money for Melbourne Raceway, it used to be known as York Dragway. And one of the opportunities of something to win in that auction was a ride down the track at Santa Pod in Don Scott's Superbird. So I bid on the auction and um, thinking I'd be outbid, I wasn't, I won the auction. So today, hopefully, if the weather holds, that's what's going to be happening. I'm going to be going down the track as a passenger in this car. So this is the car. The number 43, Plymouth Superbird. I'll get some more deals on the car for you later, because uh, obviously Don's busy talking at the minute. But this is the car that I'm going to be going down the track in. Hoping it'll be fairly shortly. It's a dry day now, they're trying to dry the track out. So hopefully that's what's going to be happening. So I just want to jump in with a little bit of history on Melbourne Raceway, as it's now known. It used to be called York Dragway. It was opened in 1977 by the Pennine Drag Racing Club, who started it as a new venue for drag racing in the UK. In the late 80s, the runway was resurfaced and it was reopened as New York Dragway. And in October 2017, it closed altogether. Now, in August 2019, it was opened for a brief period by the Straight Liners Group, who ran an eighth mile single lane run what you brung race at the newly named Melbourne Raceway, as it was known from then on in. With the amount of interest that was shown in racing at York again, it was decided that they'd start a donation fund to raise approximately £100,000 to relay a track and reopen it as Melbourne Raceway. That's where I got involved and when I found the auction to donate some money as well as trying to win passenger ride down Santa Pod in Don Scott Superbird. Now it's taken from 2019, 2020-ish uh, since I won the auction 
until today for us to actually get my diary to connect up with Don's due to the fact that me and Don both live at opposite ends of the country and the timing involved etc and sometimes when Don's at Santa Pod he's involved in a competition he hasn't always got time to give passenger rides down the track although he does do a lot of them for various charities so after being patient for a few years whilst Covid got out of the way and uh, the track reopened and we're all starting to move around again today is finally the day <laughs> So after hanging around most of the morning, waiting for the track to get dried up and prepped ready to go, just got being told uh, the power lanes are open. So heading down the power lanes now with helmet, all the camera gear, and we're going to see if we can get in Don's car and do the run before the weather changes. them so hopefully you enjoyed that i know i certainly did and i'll definitely be coming back for more uh, all i can say now is it's time to go home and uh, we'll see you on the next video if you like drag racing or you're more interested in drag racing what i'll do is i'll leave a link up here to a couple of drag racing videos from the last couple of times i've been at santa pod and you can enjoy those as well don't forget support the channel uh, if you want to the links are in the description and uh, give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you found it entertaining or informative and obviously as always the stickers to be bought a uh, link to those in the description as well see you in the next video thanks bye for now i'd also like to give a big shout out to dan hope you had a great time at Santa pod dan